Hello everybody, this is Omega45 and welcome to episode 7 of my modded Minecraft Let's Play. So in the last episode we started with some thermal expansion jazz and got some uh, pretty basic power up. So today I'm going to show you what I have done with it. Ta-da! This is like my main reactor if you will. Um, it's a combination of compression engines or compression dynamos and magmatic dynamo dynamos. Um, so this is what I've known so far. So far. Uh, up top is a reinforced portable tank that I can fill with lava, and that gets uh, spread out between these four engines. And then over here, I pulverize down the coal, I melt it, and then it goes into this tank. And when I'm ready, I will release it, and it get it fills up these other eight uh, compression dynamos. <clears throat> Excuse me. So over here are just my machines and such. Um, this is the excess from the uh, yellow space. So uh, you get sulfur when you pulverize coal. Uh, this is just like a little charging bench right here. And I just lost my test racks. Or not test racks. Um, energy cells, I'll grab them in a second. And this is my induction smelter. So that's what I've kind of done so far. I'll show you the underneath. And this is the wiring. Grab those. So I have two more uh, redstone energy cells right here. These took a pretty long time to make, but so worth it. I also have another hardened energy cell here just to just to power the uh, magma crucible and the fluid transposer because I don't use those too often. So let's put these back. And as you can probably see right here, I have a tank of energized glowstone. I went to the nether, got a ton of glowstone. I spent about an hour gathering glowstone. And uh, I melted with way too much of it. So that's what I have right now. Uh, these are also tanks from open blocks. Um, it's just obsidian in the four corners and then glass panes and they make these really pretty just simple tanks. I like them. Uh, I've done some more stuff outside. I got a bunch of mine factory reloaded, reloaded rubber trees and I've been solely harvesting those on my own. And then over here, <laughs> I've done a lot, sorry guys. Uh, over here I have a tree farm. So I'll kind of explain how this works. Right here I have a uh, redstone energy cell and uh, energy conduits coming off of it. On the bottom I have a planter filled with oak saplings. This gets filled with 8,000 redstone flux and it's checking every five ticks for places to put saplings. Um, don't worry about this for right now. This is uh, if you want to like specify Oh, um, in the red corner, so like up here, there would be different things, and I just got destroyed by a tree. So there's that. And then I also have some iron uh, upgrades. So these are just iron, raw plastic, redstone, and golden nugget. And these will increase the radius by two. Normally, all. Normally all machines will only do a 3x3 three three area, so when you increase the radius, it's 1, 2, the original 3, and then 1, 2. So 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. So it's um, 7 across and 7 deep, which is really awesome. And they're super cheap little upgrades. You're going to make these things a lot bigger, but I, I just didn't right now. I also have one in here. This is just a harvester. You give a chest or something to drop items into, and it will just harvest everything. Uh, it fills a sludge, and you're technically supposed to have to uh, get the sludge out of it, but I mean, it, it doesn't really do any harm if you don't, at least not that I've seen. So, this is what I've kind of done between episodes. I'll put the saplings back in here. Um, what I would like to do with these saplings is start some forestry machines and get biofuel so I can start producing renewable redstone flux to be used in 
uh, engines. Or not engines, sorry. I, I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, to be used in quarries. So, that's what I like to do. Oh yeah, I just came out of my test world, so I need to be off peaceful. Or, what am I doing? There. Grab my sword. Uh, my pickaxe is still broken. I need to fix that soon, but I just don't feel like making art right now. Or not. Ugh. Alamite. I cannot talk today. Yeah, alamite. Um, so, there's that. One more thing I've done is a ton of mining. But not by hand. Run. So I manned out this big one. I manned out a big one over where? Oh, and here. This goes a ways back. And then the original one, I think, was right here. I did another one over there. So this is what I have taken out of the ground so far. Not too much. For those who have seen my other videos, you guys know I need, I like to just eat worlds. So I've also been compressing my cobblestone up. That's why I don't have a barrel for it. But I do for the, what are these called? Hardened clay, because I have a ton of hardened clay. So that's kind of what's going on right now. Um, I think I might do coal or charcoal in engines I'm not sure let's see MTGRM. just for right now to add some extra power steam dynamos it's just copper and wow my mouse DPI is crazy today um, reactant dynamo I actually I don't know what it needs for this solid reactant that's something I have to look into a little bit. Because if it produces more than these, I can do something like the um, liqui uh, liquefied coal and then charcoal as a reactant, I think. I'm not sure though. So I will look into that. And as, if I find something out, I'll be back. If not, I will be back later and try and start getting some forestry stuff going. All right, guys. So I have my fermenter here. So let's make that. This is gonna go right here, and then I'm also gonna make either a still or a refiner. Let's see. Still. Let's see. What's this to make? Oh, that's easy. Okay. Distillery. Let's just do that. Okay. So I want to make. I need some bronze. Wonderful. Always something. Wow, okay. I'm not doing that again. Let's do this. Yeah, I got blown up by a creeper right here, so I put him in an iron door. I also upgraded my sword with a bunch of quartz, so I have sharpness on it. Do I not have any coal left? I'm running really low on coal. Probably because I used it all for those. <laughs> Yeah, you're gonna take a while. Okay. And then I still have one more. Alright, so we're gonna build that. That. I need four glass. And then I need four redstone, right? Four. Boom. Okay. So I'm gonna give these a little space because I think I'm gonna have to have a liquid duct, a liquid duct in between. And then, all right, so I'm gonna start setting this up. Fluid ducts. Let's 
stone. They don't need that much. At least I don't think. If they do, I can switch them out. Um. Oops. Alright, well, I'm gonna cut away a basement in here and my. Oh, man. Alright, I'll be back. Alright, guys. So, I have cleaned out a basement down here real quick and I just uh, put a power line up to my fermenter and my still and then I just hooked my water line up to my fermenter so <coughs> excuse me so what I have going here is in the bottom slot I have fertilizer which I made with sand, appetite, and more sand. Appetite is a natural resource that you can mine in the world. It's It comes in large clumps. It's kind of hard to find but when you find it you find a lot of it. I think I found eight or nine stacks of it in one go. Yeah this is all from one vein so there's a lot. So you put that in the bottom slot, and then you put a um, whatever you're refining up, I guess, is the best way of saying it, in the top slot. So I'm going to grab some saplings real quick. Uh, this has been running for about five minutes. So I'm going to put them up there. And these are going to be made into biomass. As you can see, it's going into the tanker there. If I turn this lever off, you can see it's starting to fill up. It fills up pretty quick. Let's turn the NEI off for a minute. You can do that by pressing O, by the way. So you're going to get, I think, 0.25 for every sapling. That's actually a lot more than it used to be. So uh, I just have this liquid duct. I, can probably, I probably could have done it in one liquid duct, but oh well, I did it in two. Or excuse me, fluid duct, as they're now called. They used to be called liquid ducts. Uh, it's being imported into my still, which is refining it down once again and creating uh, ethanol. So it's pretty useful. I had these guys running off of ethanol a little while ago. Um, I used it all up already. But this, let's see, I have eight. So this will give me about four, four million redstone flux, which is, and it's all right. It's not great, but... It's not bad either. Oh, man, I lost it again. So these are producing 80. Let's run downstairs real quick and check it out. So these are filling up pretty quick, actually. That's pretty impressive. So. It's a renewable fuel source that will go a pretty long way. Where is my, there it is, okay. And I need to just increase the size of my tree farm to keep up with this for saplings and then I'll be good to go. This will actually be really awesome. So I'll be back in a little bit. All right guys, so this will be my last thing for today. I don't have much time, so. I just vastly increased the size of my tree farm. I spent two emeralds to get the upgrades for it. Um, I got the emerald upgrades, the biggest one, or six emeralds, excuse me. Um, I forgot, it takes three instead of one. I've been watching this for a while, so. That's how you build it, and then you just add them into those upgrade slots I was showing you guys earlier, and that's how you do it. And this is this could be a 25 by 25 tree farm but it's set up pretty close to my base and I didn't want it but um, like butting up against it so I made it this big I'm not sure quite how big it is but it's pretty huge I think this is the biggest tree farm I've actually ever built um, so we'll see how it goes it's already it's got me quite a few slappings already. so but I do need to replenish what I spent to fill this entire pad up, which was not cheap. 
so when that fills up, I'll have quite a bit of excess that I can start refining down. And those will get put into my biomass and, and into my uh, ethanol. So that's it for this episode. Thanks guys a lot for watching. Uh, sorry it's been another short one. But uh, I didn't, I didn't want to add just like useless filler into it. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. Later.